So what you need to make the peanut butter protein balls is a third cup of peanut butter, a quarter cup of honey, um, one scoop of protein, or you can do one packet. This is a whey isolate that I get from Hy-Vee. Um, and you need ground flax. Ground flax, which you can normally find at any nutritional store. They sell it by the pounds. So what you need to do is just mix them all together. And then just one tablespoon of the ground flax. After you're done mixing them together, into the bowl, obviously, you want to make sure that you get a really good consistency. It kind of takes a couple minutes um, to mix it really well, kind of get all the powder onto the peanut butter, because that's how you roll it into a bowl. Um, if you don't, then the peanut butter is just going to be extremely sticky, and then you won't be able to roll them into a bowl and get that consistency that you're really looking for with making these protein balls. All right, once you're done mixing it together really good, obviously, always pushing, um, good hygiene, so make sure you wash your hands. Just take a little forkful, spoonful, whatever it is, put it into your hands, roll it. Now, um, I normally put them into the refrigerator. You can do it overnight, you don't have to. Honestly, I think it tastes a lot better if you do put it in the refrigerator. You just put the protein balls into whatever container you're using. Um, I just put foil on this one so it's easy to peel off. Alrighty, so after you get done making them in the balls, normally one batch is about 8 to 10 protein balls, and then I just put them into the foil. They look like this, looks really good. Like I said, I would recommend keeping them. You got something on your lip. I got something on my lip. <laughs> right. It's always good to have some bloopers in these videos. Alright, so um, I put them in the refrigerator for probably, you know, 4 to 8 hours. Tastes the best, but realistically you can just put them in the fridge maybe an hour or even eat them like this simple recipe I'll make sure to have the macronutrients and all the nutrition information in the description below enjoy as always make sure to follow me on social media at bringing the beef